Welcome back everybody to the European LCS as we are joined by Fnatic's Cyanide 2-0 today and not just a 2-0 versus Gambit and versus Alliance. Did you guys yourselves expect to do this good? Uh, honestly, I didn't know what to expect because they are probably the, the strongest two teams like in LCS right now. So I was thinking, oh, maybe we are not going to do so great today, but we actually beat them both, so it feels really good. Just very quickly, in your mind, what is it that helped you get those victories? What stands out as the most important? Um, I think against Alliance, we had really good rotations. Like, they are very good individually, but they were like still trying to figure out their team play, maybe. And against Gambit, yeah, we had a good level one. Like, it actually was bad for me and so us because I lost my red buff because of it, because I took so long to take my blue. And so us got a bit screwed over with bot lane, bot lane, like top lane, because he yeah, came to lane really late. But Reckless got some advantage and they carried really hard with yellow. You lost your red buff, which puts you behind versus Shook, which is already, as we believe, the hype that is around him, a very tough matchup. Uh, do you play differently? Is there something that you prepare for when you go up in a jungle against them? Um, Against Shuk, I was covering my lanes a lot because he was playing Lee Sin, which is obviously really good early game. I was doing okay, but I think at one point I was even covering too much. Like, I lost my red buff at one point. Like, I just realized, wait, they are taking blue, he can't be bottom, and then he just went for my red and took it, and I was like face palming, but... <laughs> It felt like a very chaotic game. You know, there were moments where Alliance were in the lead, there were moments you guys were in the lead, and it swung back and forth a lot. I want to ask you, what was the calling like in the Fnatic camp when Reckless was pushing the top lane? It was going all the way to the inhibitor. Alliance started pushing up the middle, and I started getting like, well, they've got to do something. But you, you guys just stuck through. What was happening in calling? What was the decision making for your team? Yeah, so basically we had Zix, who can just clear the waves with his Q or whatever, ultimate even, and they could not push without creeps really that fast as we could with Reckless. So we knew we would win the trade anyway, and I was getting a bit scared actually at one point, like, you're gonna maybe get dived, so I was even recalling, and my team is like, no, 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 you're stupid, like, just push, and I'm like, okay. Um, Cyanide, what is sweeter, a victory versus Gambit or versus Alliance? Uh, I think they were both equally sweet, like I was equally scared about both games. <laughs> okay. Well, my question now, uh, very quickly about Alliance, there's zero and two today. Uh, there was a lot of hype about the team. What is it that actually cost them the victory, you know, a as a team? Do you think it's just age that they don't really gel just yet? Or do you think it's something deeper? Uh, like I said, against us, we, our rotations were better. Like the top lane push we did, it basically gave us a lot of advantage, even though we were maybe a bit behind before that. I'm not 100% sure because I don't actually nicely see the gold like you guys, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're cheating a little bit when Just it comes to that, of course. Um, now we're going to see what you guys had to say over on Twitter. Of course, today we asked you which European LCS Pro are you looking forward to watching this week and why? And here are some of the best answers. The first one is from at Crunchy Donkey. I am happy our Russian prince has returned to my beloved gambit. Look forward to seeing seeing some support carry. I think it was a little disappointed after the first game, thanks to these fellas over here. <laughs> but definitely, you know, Edward's been outspoken on Twitter, and I want to see these unique picks he's been talking about. He played Thresh. Come on, that's boring. Play something exciting. And Mumu, please. Yeah. <laughs> and the second one is from at Kaga TMS. I am most excited to watch Reckless overcome the pressure and be the carry that Fnatic needs. And he did show that. Yeah, like Reckless did very well in the first game and very well in the second game as well. So if you're an AD carry, I would definitely look at him as well. <laughs> yeah, straightforward. The third one is from at Scumbag Lazy Niff. I'm excited to see how he's going to adapt to his new team in the short town, uh, time and how their bot lane synergy will be. I think Niff is definitely uh, you know, a great player. Little bit off his game maybe today, missing some skill shots we're not used to seeing him uh, miss. But a couple more games and maybe we'll be back to the same form that we've seen uh, alongside Candy Panda from SK. Yeah, I got to give him some time. Of course, follow us to keep up with the excitement and to send us your answers at LOL Esports. And of course, remember to use the hashtag LCS. Now the Wolves and Gambit are almost ready to go. So let's send